round. With Mitty Bang on top at the end of the tenth there. up on his toes again Jimmy fancying it a bit again now having had quite a bit of success in the tenth yeah well he's pulled himself together he's realized there's a real job he has in his hands the <laughs> big ooh from the crowd there and certainly Mitty felt that one A similar pattern all the way through though Jim wasn't it yeah it's been the same kind of fight all the way through uh, Mitty picking McGough off and um, McGough looking for the big right hand all the time but uh, when he does connect with it the place erupts here doesn't it all the McGough fans they really get behind him Shot well, McGough, and coming back. <laughs> Successive right hands, Jim. I'm amazed he's been caught with those. Yeah, Mitty's doing the right thing, just trying to get himself out of trouble. Forget about counter punching now. Uh, just, just get to the end of the round. Again, all the McGough fans have invaded us here at ringside. They can see when his success comes away. They know that he's got to turn it on. Definitely breathing problems, Mitty. Yeah, his mouth's open a lot, and that's not normal for Mitty. His nose has been bleeding from early on. Jim, there's a bit of replay. Take that one. There's the right hand, you see. It was every time uh, McGough lands the right hand, he seems to shake Mitty, but uh, that one didn't hurt him. They uh, just knocked him out of his stride a bit. in the 12th and final round then of the vacant Commonwealth not the vacant, the championship of the Commonwealth with the champion Mitty several times under fire from McGough who's going to give it all he's got in the last and certainly the supporters are imagine that Mitty's corner are saying uh, you better do a hit and run job this round Jim well I don't know what to advise him he's hit McGough with his best punches all the way through the fight he hasn't managed to discourage him he managed to hurt him once but uh, so I think they both know Mitty doesn't have the power to knock McGough out I think the best plan is just to be nice and careful keep your hands up pot shot whenever you can and uh, j just to keep himself out of trouble because McGough I think is just going to keep throwing punches until somebody drops Of 
evidence. There's no collection of judges' papers. Sole arbiter, as it were, is uh, Roland Dakin, referee from the south of England. Given it all he's got there, Jim Mesley, Martin McGovern, he's now really feeling the pace. But I certainly take my hat off to him. He's given Nitty a much harder fight than I thought he was capable of. Minute to go. Just can't keep the pace up, McGough, Jim. He's flagging now. Yeah, well, it's been a hard cluster all the way through, and it's the first time he's been here. Mitty's been here once or twice before in championship fights. It's McGough's first time. You can't fault him for running out of steam slightly. It's been a pace all the way through, and uh, he's been missing with a lot of punches, which takes a lot more energy out of you. But, uh, a lopsided points verdict against him, but uh, he takes a lot of credit away from the fight. And remember, the referee should know now how this contest is. He wouldn't have to really add up his scorecard at the end unless he's got it desperately close. So he should lift up the winner's hand immediately. And there it is. And it's, uh, he's telling both boxers to go back to the corner to add a little bit of drama and Mitty retains the Commonwealth Championship on points, plodding all the way through keeping the left hand going but he really was given all the trouble he could handle there by a very brave challenger in Martin McGough. <laughs>